Hey, ke, hey, ke, hey, ke, hi everybody! I hope you're all having a good day. I hope you're all smiling and enjoying your lovely day. In this following tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you on how to change the position of your character, especially if you got environments. So, allow me to show you the settings. So basically, on the menu right here, and you click on settings here, and you go to the miscellaneous tab right here, right? M-I-S-E. Um, basically, there is a position settings here. What does that do? Well, this is very good if you have environment. So let's go ahead and open up an environment by going to Load World, Vignon folder, and Worlds. I'm going to go ahead and click on the one that says, let's say, the attic, right? The pretty, pretty room, right? So right here, uh, there is the attic. Let's say, for instance, um, I want to make like hotkeys where I can put my character in that corner or that other corner and such, you know. Uh, you know, moving my character around and such, right? So, basically, uh, right here, we have gizmo mode. We can have it so, well, by default, it is hidden, but we can have it so it can move or rotate our avatar. Let's focus on move for now. And as you can see, there is um, a way for us to position our avatar. So by default, it will be in the center here. I recommend leaving this alone unless by any chance you do have an environment by default and you do want to change the position. You could do what you like, but I'm going to go ahead and click on position one. I'm going to name this, hmm, I'll just say this random p uh, position here. Um, and then what I'm going to do, right, I'm going to then use the arrow keys, or the little arrow, not arrow keys, but the arrows on Vignon. And then I'm going to switch to rotate to change the rotation of my avatar, basically. And then um, just basically adjust it so that way I have it in a place that I like. So I can have it like right maybe here, basically. So my character is right there. I can click on save current and then um, of course when you set a name you can give it a name and such so that way you can remember it very easily then what you could do also is set up another pose as well let me go ahead and set up a quick one real quickly right here so let's say the second pose will be all the way over here and then I'm going to do rotate and then set up here basically so let's say this one is going to be position number two. Click on save current here. And then if you want to preview the pose, you can click on load pose. So I'll go to random pose here that I made, click on load pose and it will teleport me there. You can then also, when you're done making all the poses that you want for the positions here, you can then select um, gizmo mode and set it as hidden basically. So pretty much at least that is how you can basically be able to adjust your position settings. Alright, so what about, let's say we don't want to always, so you know, of course we have to make all our positioning here, but what if we don't want to always go to settings and change our posing all the time? Because that sounds really tedious, right? Well, there's a convenient way to have hotkeys, whether stream deck or keyboard, where you can have it so you can press a button and it can change the position of your avatar for environment. So let me show you how to do that. So you can go ahead and exit this menu, remember your positions, and then you're going to go into node graph here, and then you're going to add a new graph here. Then you're going to go ahead and find the hotkey node. You can scroll down here or just uh, type in hotkey on the search bar and type in hotkey. If you're a Stream Deck user, you can use WebSockets instead to actually be able to connect your Stream Deck with Vignon. I have a separate tutorial on how to do that. Now, basically uh, what you're going to do is you're going to look up avatar and then um, you're going to select on avatar position. And here we can set up different hotkeys. So let me press this one as an 8. And then we can make a separate one for 9. And then we can duplicate the avatar position here with right click and duplicate. And then we can connect these together. Then set the position to either random pose or uh, position number 2. And then we can toggle between the positions basically. <laughs> so yeah, 
yeah, so you could do something silly like that or anything like that, but you can set up hotkeys or set it via WebSocket or maybe even the channel point as well, where you can have a channel point redeemed that loads a, an entire world or something and your character could be positioned. You can do a lot of things with this. Your mind is only the limit. But yeah, so basically this is how you can be able to do the avatar position. Um, in a nutshell, basically, very simple, but like I said, your imagination's the limit. So keep that in mind. But otherwise, though, um, if you have any other questions regarding Vinyan, please join the Vinyan Discord server, and we'd be happy to help you out over there. And you can download some free, um, you can download some free Vinyan assets over there to help you out with your streaming journey. And yeah, either way, though, hope that this tutorial helps you out. And have a lovely day, everyone. And I'll see you guys next time. Okay, bye bye. Thank you to all my Snowflake members. In case you don't know, I have YouTube membership. So if you want to further support this channel and what I do, then feel free to join the Snowflake members. Otherwise, though, just your support means so much to me and I appreciate every ounce of it. Either way, though, with that being said, though, hey, 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 goodbye, bye, everyone. I hope to see you guys next time, okay? Bye, bye.